Hi, dude. My name's Scott Smith, and um, I'm doing a graded review. Review. Yeah, review. Or reveal. Um, I had got two orders, one from S, uh, SGC, uh, the other one from GMA. Sorry about it. Um, I just got home from work. I worked all last night into the morning. It's early morning. I'm trying to get this video. Um, we're just going to do the GMA right now because it's a, a pretty large uh, order. It's over 100 cards. Um, my guess was 130 to 140 cards. I kind of rushed the order out. They had a, a, um, a discount for like if you went over 100 cards and bigger discount over 200 cards and even bigger if you went over 300 or maybe 500. I can't remember what. So uh, I just did the 100 because it was the very last day. I had a quick get them out, get it on printed up. Uh, and uh, so I went to start doing it online. Then I found out that I didn't have a lot of ink to print it all up. So I printed up what I could on the sheets and I just filled it out. And then when I ran out of sheets, I just did paperwork and I, I just package cards really fast and send them out i want to say this order took maybe seven days they had re i had sent it out they had received it and they had graded it and they immediately sent it back out uh, seven days from the day i sent it i believe it was a credible turnaround um i was really uh shocked um a lot of these cards some of these cards not i wouldn't say a lot uh was crossover some from the old gm slabs the new ones and some from what I call dead graders that are no, no longer around. The, the old GMA slabs, they used to grade at not as strict as they do now. So I thought I would get some cards nicked down, and that did happen. I was a little surprised on some of the dead graders that um, I got some surprising grades. Um, I got, did get some lower grades because either I, I met damaged them getting them wrapped up and uh to send off or i damaged them uh you know getting putting them in the holders or something or i just didn't catch it because i was going too fast um and i just missed that the cards weren't worth grading anyways let me get to this order and get it started I'm going to reverse it a little bit here. So the first card up is going to be a Michael Jordan card. And with Magic Johnson, this is a 1990 Hoops. Um, inside the Super Streak. Um, it's a subset card. is a Near Mint Mint Plus 8.5. That's what the back looks like. This is a bit of a disappointment, that, but it could be in one of those restaurant jobs. This is a 1989 Batman, uh, Brains and Beauty, Vicky, um, and I got a Near Mint 7. Blah. What a horrible grade. But it's on me. I just wasn't paying attention. All right. I need to pay attention. Uh, I kind of got this on a stand. But my stand's not very movable, and um, I kind of made a, um, I got to get used to doing this. Okay, so I got an Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator 2 sticker, 1991, Near Mint, Near Mint Plus, 8.5. That's the back. Recently, Arnold Schwarzenegger passed away, that's a shame. Another disappointing grade, I got um, 1992 Batman Returns. I got the the header card number one, and I only got an eight, so a near mint, mint eight. All right, I got the Rock wrestling card. This is a 2006 Topps Heritage Chrome. That's the first set they put out with the uh, Heritage and Chrome. That's a Mint 9. Then I got this uh, real nice Mickey Mantle. In, I think it's, nope, it's a base card. A 2010 Heritage. 
Talk about hitting a home run 565 feet in a mint nine. Then I have to look at it, find out what happened here. I remember looking at this car a few times. So I must have did something to it on the way there. Uh, 2005 Upper Deck Rookie Materials. DeMarcus Ware Rookie Card in eight. So I got a lot of good grades, but I got some grades. I'm like, what the heck happened out of this order? Uh, 1990 uh, SP uh, Top Prospect Insert of Michael Jordan. Baseball card. So they played in the minor leagues. I think he might have gotten one or two bats in the major leagues. Um, just a second. I need to get some coffee. Where is it? There it is. Got my coffee behind me. <sighs> yeah, there we go. My voice is a lot better. Okay. So I got a 1997 UD3 as a protect card. This is Ken Griffey Jr. I'm very pleased with this grade. Did better than I thought it would. I thought I was shooting for a nine. I got gem mint on the card. These cards were hard to grade. They have surface issues and chipping on the black border. So another little bit of a disappointment. So this is uh, uh, Trump's wife and famous fashion model, uh, Melania. And this is the spouse's card for the 2016 decisions. I didn't even get a nine. I got a 8.5. A little bit of a disappointment. Another disappointment, I got a Trump card for the campaign moments for the decisions uh, 2016 set. Um, I got an eight on this one. Did a lot better on this one, and the last one I'm from uh, I sent in for that 2016 um, set. Um, the finalist, Donald Trump, uh, former president, and running again this year for president. I got a gem at 10 on that. All right, I got a. 1999 Fleer Showcase, row one, Jerry Rice, one of the greatest football players of all time. And let me move these cards out of the way. All right, this one, it was a little head scratcher. This was a uh, global authentications. Uh, they were, and this was uh, what the head grader and a few other guys from the original PSA team um, broke off and formed their own grading company. They were around for a, quite a while, but they made some bad decisions and killed it. Now, their style grading, the, this is back in the days when they were a little more lenient. They'd have today's tech to see how cards are. So some of these cards, when you crack them out, you'll get a lower grade. But this got authentication. And this was the best one. I, I had like 10 of these. This is an 87 uh, Barry Bonds glossy all-star rookie card. And it was a send-in. I think, I can't remember. It might have been a wrapper re redemption. You had to get a wrapper and send in with some money to get the set. Anyways, Barry Bonds authenticated. I got to find out what happened. I'll make a call and find out. This one is for the PC. It still could be the PC, but disappointing grade. I knew I was going to get a lower grade. It was the old GMA holders. They're a lot more strict. Um, I collect um, uh, John Smoltz minor league cards and his uh, rookie cards. And this is minor league card from CMC International League, Richmond Braves. Um, this was, I think, a nine. Even when I uh, snapped it out, I set the little tab with it saying, hey, you guys had it as a, a nine. I figured it was going to get an eight, maybe worse, 7.5, because uh, I knew it wasn't a nine. I could see the cent there were some centering issues, and there's a little bit of uh, circles, so uh, surface 
or little, they call them eye dots. Uh, I've heard other people use different terms, but a five. <laughs> I might just crack it out and just put it in a card saver and just put it in line with uh, my run of John Smoltz stuff. So, excellent five on my Smoltzy. What a great, just for the record, uh, this guy was one of the better pitchers. He doesn't get enough credit. He was one. For the Braves, top three big starters, me, he was the best. He was better than Maddox, and he was better than uh, Glavin because, one, his game showed in the playoffs and the um, World Series. He pitched good where Maddox just tailed off. He, he won just as many games as those guys did as starters. The reason he doesn't have – as many accumulated uh, wins is because he went on to become a, a reliever for a while there. And when he went to relieve, he became a top-notch reliever. Either way, in his career as a starter or, or a reliever, he would have been in the Hall of Fame. So that's how good he was. All right, I got a journey early night. Uh, <laughs> Tongue tied. 1992 Jordan insert card from Hoops with my man Drexler there. And um, this is called the Champion Series. This is card TR1, and it's a Mint 9. There you go. So this is one I'm kind of wondering why they authenticate it. I really thought I was going to get like a, a 9. Because um, it was slightly off-centered here. But some reason I gotta authenticate it. So I gotta find out why some of these cards got authenticated. I have more than that, this card in that bonds that were just authenticated, but nothing to tell me why. So this card came out of a pack, which came out of a box that was in this original um, uh, a cellophane wrap. So you know. It wasn't a doctored pack. There was no messing around. And who wanna wanna you know mess with a Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator card to a doctor for a better grade? Or it's just crazy. So this is a disappointment. I I I I, I know what I did on this one apparently. So there's a little bit of a tear here. See that there in a the little bit of issue there, and I think something happened when I went to pack the card. Um, this is a uh, 2020 Penny stickers of Justin Hewitt rookie and a five. Uh, looks like I messed up as I was getting this order quickly ready. Okay, so I got a 1997 Upper Tech International Michael Jordan sticker. This is sticker 165 in the set, and it's a mint nine. This one was for more uh, with a few more Bulls players on it. Is uh, sticker 167 and an 8.5. Then I got a really really cool insert of Boba Fett, uh, 2020 Star Wars Hooligans Boba Fett insert. I thought I sent two. Hopefully I see another one. If not, it might be one of the cards I pulled. Because I was rushing to get time. I was running out of time. And I, I got a, had a last minute to get this order in. So it looks like there's some like little paper. from Maybe them putting these cases together. They have a little... Uh, I wouldn't say dust, but maybe kind of, some kind of uh, residue from doing it. They're on these slabs. So second year, 1990, U.S. playing card, Ken Griffey Jr. All-Star from a major league uh, deck. So this is the best card I got. I, I, um, I, bought, I found a auction with a whole bunch of unique Pokemon, different type Pokemon packs. And I won some of these early Pokemon sticker packs. And this is the best one out of all of them when I 
um, got them. They came in like a sticker and like a long sheet, and you had a little uh, take them apart. And this is like a foil, which is a so-called bonus prism sticker of ash. And I got 8.5. I'm kind of happy I got the 8.5. The other ones I knew weren't even going to get that. Because, uh, see that? Uh, let's see. Right there. That's a little bit of a in there. Little tabs from the other stickers that affected the sticker card. Okay, so this is a 2020 Upper Deck Hockey Card Day of um, Connor McDavid in the Gem Mint 10. I'm a little shocked that this wasn't just as hand cut. I didn't realize I just quickly grabbed it and put it in there. So I know some graders don't grade cards that are hand cut. They're supposed to be pulled apart. And, um, and some people take scissors instead or a knife. And I didn't realize it was a uh, hand cut when I sent it either. I was just trying to quick fill it. So this is a hand cut um, Sports Illustrated for kids second year of LeBron James. I guess it's authenticated. So this is a crossover. This was from uh, another um, Florida grader. Yeah, GMA's in Florida. Uh, another one was mint grading. There were the, um, what was it? Uh, Zephyr Hills. They were out of Zephyr Hills, Florida, for a long time. Uh, I would say they were in the top five or six uh, first graders, companies that came out grading cards. And they lasted to... The mid 2000s, I want to say around 2012 or 2015, somewhere around there, they stopped grading. Anyways, I cracked it out. I, I sent it over. Uh, back then, there were light on grading cards. You can get cards that you were no longer, nowhere close getting a gem mint. It said gem mint. GMA looked at it and said mint nine. I agree with them. It's a mint nine. But, and it's a pretty cool card. It's still, it's a 1995 signature rookies, Kevin Garnett. It's a promo rookie card in a mint nine. Sweet card. Another uh, Connor McDavid. This is a 2018 hockey deck. <laughs> Let me drink some coffee. All right, this is a. Uh, 2018 Upper Deck Hockey Card Day of Connor McDavid in Gem at 10. Sorry about that. Once again, I worked all night. Uh, all night and most of the, and a good portion of the early morning hours. And uh, let me grab the next box here. And I'm quickly doing this video when I got home, Steph's sleeping. Hey, and for once I'm doing a video where I'm have a, have a stand holding holding my phone up and not trying to use one hand to hold the phone and the other hand to do the videos. Hopefully the video turns a little better. A lot of my videos was like, yeah, this is the card I had. Anyways, well today it's uh, I can't talk day, but hopefully uh, keep the fluids going and. I'll talk a little bit better. Okay. Oh my God. They, they really do have uh, like a little, whatever they use to clean these, uh, put these cards together or maybe the box material. So Got on there because there's like some kind of stuff on the, um, the cases. 2023 Heritage, Bobby Witt Jr. They say he, he's in the running for MVP this year. So this is a New Age Performers. Pretty cool card. Gem Mint. Uh, 
he's becoming a big time legend. I don't use the word. I don't like to say goat. Uh, um, based on religious region. Let me drink some more coffee. I'm sorry. Okay, so basically, uh, we if um, you believe in the Bible a lot and stuff, uh, when you use when you refer to go is a, a lot of demonic uh, things. Uh, the devil uh, a lot of stuff uses goat, so I don't like to use goat. Um, we always said Hall of Famers, legends, and stuff, and so I rather go back to the old term legends. This guy is a legend in the making. He's won. He's been to the Super Bowl a bunch of times. Won a won a few Super Bowls. He's going to be one of those old time greats. This is a uh, 2019 score. Patrick Mahomes, fantasy stars, fantasy stars. So it's an insert and gem at ten. Oh, that's the case holder. What was that? Like? Another legend that this guy might surpass from championships and stuff and uh, passing records. Matter of fact, this guy in the uh, preseason, uh, his tight end blew his coverage, and the guy, Mahomes, threw it behind his back pass and made a, made a first down out of it. That was pretty cool. So this is uh, another legend. This is Tom Brady. Illusions, I think that's Panini. Yeah, Panini. Panini Illusions. This is a Met 9 card, 2019. Another Tom Brady card. This is a 2008 Don Ross Gridiron Gear. It's our earlier Tom Brady card, Gem Met 10. There's the back. Another great legend, Nellie Fox. 1957, and I did a little bit better. See, as you can see, this is really off center, you know. Um, but it had good color. It had no uh, wrinkles and no creases. But I thought I was going to be like a two and a half, three, and I got a four. I'm really happy. You know, the corners ain't too bad. The edges are pretty good. It's just really badly off center. And somewhere on the uh, uh, corners, a couple of the corners. Hall of Famer. And a four. I thought this was going to be Jam Men and I got a nine. It's all good. Uh, Dante Burchett's rookie card, 1990, 1990, 1989, and a mint nine. Uh, disappointed crossover here. I can't remember the grader, but it's one of those dead graders or one of those graders that don't have the greatest history. It was a 10, and I got the card to crack out, and I sent it to GMA, and I got a mint 9 for the Arenado early card. Some people say it was kind of like a rookie card, so it's a 2009 Elite, so it was Don Ross back then. Now it's Panini Elite. It's our early uh, rookie card. All right, so 2012 uh, tops. Alan Ginter, Aaron Andrews is a sports anchor. Does a lot of football coverage and stuff in other sports. And, and a 10. A early um, Star Wars card. So this is Star Wars cards from the Return of the Jedi. It's the first set. First sets in red. Second sets in blue. This is the the four scenes with the Ewoks and stuff when they went to battle. Um, what's the card number on this one? Sixty-eight and an eight point five. So a name plus eight point five. All right, a really good card here in 1990, Finest. Finest is from Tops. It's one of their top sets back in the day. Ken Griffey Jr. 
great Hall of Famer, um, gem at 10. For some reason got gem in there. All right, Aaron Rodgers, another legend. A 2015 uh, Penny Contenders draft. And this is an insert called Old School Colors. And I got a nine. Yeah, a little bit right there. That's going to be the issue. There's a little on the edge before you get to the corner. A little bit of a whoop. A little swoop. Got a nine. So this is a, uh, a crossover. But this crossover is uh, the old uh, GMA uh, slab to the new one. 2017. Uh, I just think these are ten times better than old GMA holders I like this part so a lot of people like um, um, certified gradings new slabs they're a lot like this um, and GMA's uh, gradings got a lot better they're a little more cheaper than uh, certified grading you don't have to pay a membership so if you like those slabs, you like this. They're a little more thicker too than certified grading. Anyways, so I got the old GMA uh, slab. I took it out of there, cracked out and sent it to them. And I got my 10 on the Patrick Mahomes rookie card. So I'm happy that stayed at 10. Another card I'm really happy to get. I uh, got a 2016 Prestige Golf, um, really good quarterback for Detroit now. Even it was in the, I believe he was in the Super Bowl with the Rams um, one year. Anyways, uh, this is Rick Card uh, from Prestige, and it's Gem at 10. Uh, another great legend. 2007 Upper Deck Rookie Premieres. Megatron Calvin Johnson Rookie Card in a 10. Woohoo! Real cool vintage card. Uh, 1990 Tops. And this is uh, the Chicago Bears team leaders. And it has the stats from the 79th season with Walter Payton. So a water pain card and it's a 7.5. It's a sharp looking card. Centering will be the main key, like in the back. Look at that. That's a 85, 15 right there. And I would say that is a 55, 45 there. And slight, it'll be like a 55, 45 in the centering there. That was the issue. So Payton, vintage Payton, in a decent grade. Uh, Tom Mack, another Hall of Famer. Um, 8.5, uh, 1976 football card at an 8.5. That's pretty good. Tom Mack, all pro and Hall of Famer. thought this would be a 10. It's not. Oh, well. Uh, Tua, this is a 2020 Rookies and Stars Tua card, and it's actually a parallel. It's in the red. I think I, I forget what they call it. I don't, it's not Ruby, but it was a parallel. And they didn't get the parallel, so I might have to send that back. I have another order I did with them, uh, GMA, a while ago, and I had some Ghostbuster cards done. And some of them were OPG and not tops. I had to send those back. I'll just send that back with it. Um, another Jared Goff. This is an insert card. 2018 score. Scored board. Pretty cool insert card. Gem at 10. This was a Mint crossover. It was uh, 10 by Gem Mint. Uh, GMA said no. Nope, it's a Mint 9. Hall of Famer, um, John Elway, and these are pretty sought after. These is the SP Hall of Views, 
you get some pretty good money from these. Really disappointed on this one. This was a crossover. Um, this was a lesser grader. They might not even be around no more. But I cracked it out. And I thought it had a shot at 9, maybe 10, and I got an 8. So there's something I missed. Or I could have damaged it rushing to get get the cards out. Calvin Johnson, 2000 Upper Deck. Uh, playing with the rookies. It's an insert card. It's probably one of the more better Calvin Johnson rookie cards I liked. And this got an 8. All right, this is pretty cool. Uh, 87 Nolan Ryan tops, a gem at 10. All right, got another gem at 10 here. This is a 2020 Tops uh, Diamondbacks Rookie Stars with Alex Young and Zach Gallen. What a kick ass pitcher he is. Gem at 10. I don't think I did really good with my Mike Trouts, I said in this order. Um, this is a Mint 9 for the 2018 Mike Trout. Finest. I gotta really figure out what happened here. Um, 2019, so second year with the rookie cop, Shohei Otani. So in Japanese, I would say Itai, which means it hurts. I mean, that's a near mint seven. Uh, I don't know what happened. Acuno, Acuno Jr. Is a 2017 Bowman Chrome uh, top uh, 100 rookies and is a refractor in a gem at 10. So that's a really good grade there. Another uh, Ronald Acuna uh, rookie. Uh, this, is this a rookie? No, this is not a rookie. I'm sorry. This is a, uh, a regular card. This is a 2021 Gypsy Queen. I got a nine. So let's see what, what. I don't think it's the corners. Uh, might be right there in the edge. I think I see a little. Just a very faint little in this. Or, okay, right here. Little surface issue right here. That's what it is. That's why it's a mint nine. Ah. Uh. Another Mint 9 for the 2021 Chrome Mike Trout X-Fractor. I really struck out on my uh, Angel cards here. All right, Christian McAfee, 2020 McAfee scorecard. This is an insert. This is deep dive, deep dive. Gem at 10. All right, let me get another box ready for you guys. Like I said, I have somewhere around 130, 140 cards. I think I'm about half, with this box, I'm halfway done my order, or close to halfway done. Once again, um, if I ha or I haven't mentioned, I'm hiddengems.fl on eBay, and these cards will be posted. The ones I have questioned won't be posted because I'm going to reach out to the grader find out what happened. If there were some errors in the slabs, like the uh, Griffey that had the word Jim right next to his name, I'm going to send them back. Um, I think I had another card and a uh, slab error. I'll send, I'll send them back. Um, the ones that are authenticated... I'll find out the reasons for I can identify why it was authenticated before I put them out uh, for auction or purchased. That way you guys can be informed. Yeah, they got some kind of uh, stuff that's on these slabs. Uh, certified has that same issue. Similar slab too. Interesting. Um, 2018 Ronald Cuno, Cuno Jr. Instant Impact Insert 
and they're saying this is a prism, so it's a parallel. Yep, prism. Yep. That's cool. I, I, I don't think I marked it as a prism parallel insert. I just marked it as an insert. That's cool they caught that. Like I said, I was rushing. I had like, when I got on the line, I went on the computer, I said, oh, uh, they have a special and it ends on the 15th. What's today? The 15th. The post office is closing in two hours, so I was rushing to get an order out. Uh, I was holding on this card for, I don't know, years. I want to say close to 10 years in my little box of cards to send out for grading. Finally got it graded. Uh, 2003 Flare Great Babe Roof in a Mint 9. Uh, I know I'm a, I don't think I got one Mike Trout that was gem mint. I might have, but I think a lot of them are nines or eight point fives. Tops 2019 Tops Chrome, and this is a uh, 84 retro card, and they're saying this is a refractor. Um, anyways, this is a mint nine. Beow. Oh, that's not good. Uh, 2023 J Rod Tops Chrome All Star Rookie Refractor. So, it's second year card, it gets the Rookie Cup and the 8.5. Probably Surface. I rushed too fast and probably should have looked at the surface. The uh, corners look sharp. I don't see anything on the edges. A lot of times on the back, on the, your Chrome cards, the way they cut it, you'll have issues on the back, on the edges. But I don't see anything right now. Oh well. Another nine. It's tradition now. Why not we keep going that way? No, let's not keep going that way. Uh, 2012 Mike Trout. And this is the team card. You get a team set. That's a team set card. So Angels, card number seven in the team set. Sure, like a variation card. Mike Trout, early Mike Trout card. Some people put it as rookie card, but 2011 is his, really his rookie cards. That might be even a 2010. But a lot of people put down 2012. That's when a lot of his mainstream cards came out. But Bowman, you know how they had the first Bowman card? I think they came out the year before. Another Met 9, anyways. All right, second year card of Osteen. Excellent pitcher for a lot of years. Excellent. And it, I thought it would be a decent grade. Uh, has good coloring, decent centering. Just had a little touch on the edges, and I got an um, excellent to near mint six. On the 1960 card. Tiger Woods, uh, 2013 Goodwin champion, Champions, in a uh, mint nine. Crossover, and actually it's a, it was a gem mint, older GMA card. With their older slabs, and they I even put the this tab inside with it, but they said it's a mint nine. Uh, my guess is gonna be. Let's see, look at it real quick. Uh, maybe surface. Well, they found something. They nicked it down one grade to a mint nine on the Garrett Cole rookie card. All right, another vintage card with a decent grade. Uh, this is a excellent near mint six, Don Larson. A uh, really good pitcher for uh, quite a few years. This is when he was in the Astros. Um, they pitched for the Yankees for a while. One year with my Baltimore Royals. 
Nope, I thought it might have been a high number card, but it's not. So I got a six. That's a really good grade for the 65. All right, and one of those head scratchers, uh, 2019 Albies and Acuno together card. I bought a brick of these. I think I, actually maybe two bricks. I think I got a brick of 50 and a 100 count. I got them dirt cheap. Oh, I see the issue right there. Uh, that corner is not the best. So 8.5. Had a corner issue. All right, another vintage card. Annie Carey, 1956 tops, and a very good plus 3.5. There it is. There's the back. Uh, 1956, Hank Thompson. And this one's a three. Brooklyn Dodger, Billy Lowe's, 1954, excellent five. So that's a pretty good grade. Pretty darn good grade. All right. Really good ball player. And it's his rookie card, 1954, Harvey Kuhn. I probably butchered his last name. Uh, it's rookie card, card number 23, excellent five. Detroit Tigers. All right, Nolan Ryan, insert, and in, uh, Gemma 10. And it's a 2020 Tops Heritage all aboard. It says Ryan sets single season strikeout record. <laughs> and they're getting worse. 8.5 2015 Tops Mike Trout. No, yep, off center. A lot more on this border than that border. Rushed too fast. And a little bit of a touch on that corner, too. Oh, well. Live and learn. All right. So I said it again Kelsey broke his coverage and ran the wrong route. He gets upset in preseason, Mahomes. He throws the ball backwards behind his back, and Kelsey makes a pretty decent catch uh, on it, and they get a first down. That's that's freaking amazing. So, 2020 Panini Contenders uh, touchdown tan tandems is an insert, and this is a parallel. This is a, the Emerald card, and it's Jam Mint. Oh, this guy is going to be a big-time legend. He's going to be one of the great running backs. Derrick Henry. Uh, 2022 Mosaic. Uh, Derrick Henry. And this is a uh, Bang Mosaic Green Prism. So this is an insert card. Yep, insert card. Green Prism. And a 10. All right. 2011 play, playoff contenders. Tom Brady, Brady season ticket. Gem at 10. I got another one in this order. I got another one there. So that's a 10, a gem at card. And a Tom Brady. Another Tom Brady. And this was a crossover. Dead grader. Um, I want to say this was from... Either when it was a professional grading service or international grading service. No longer around. Um, I cracked it out and sent it to them. 2002 playoff Thintex, uh Tom Brady, Jim at 10. 
So early Tom Brady. This might actually be his second year card. Deion Sanders, uh, Flair Showcase, Gem at 10, 1990, row three. Sweet card, Gem at 10. Oh, here, here's the other one in a mint nine. So the season ticket cards, and I got the second one's in a mint nine. Woohoo! Jordan at 10. In the 90s, Jordan, they do pretty good. And, uh, for people willing to spin up, they'll spin up in the 90s Jordan cards. Uh, 1990 SP Authentic Michael Jordan. Oh, sample promo card. I'll be damned. I sent that fast and didn't. I don't think I put that on there. I thought I, I put it as a regular base card. It was a um, promo card. Good thing they caught it. Um, 1994 Flair Marvel card, and this is Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. All right, 2007 Upper Deck Rookie Premier Marshawn Lynch, another running back legend, Hall of Famer. I believe he is. I think he's in the Hall of Fame now. Uh, Jim at 10. Future Hall of Famer 2022 select draft picks. And uh, this might be a parallel. Field level blue. Derrick Henry. And a 10. Jim at 10. Last card in this box is a 2018 Absolute. So Penny Absolute. Uh, Tom Brady in a 10. All right, I got two boxes left. Um, oh, they're both full boxes. Okay, let me grab this box. And, uh, all right. Mm -hmm. So I had one card they didn't grade. So I would say I sent several orders to GMA and I, I normally get one card back, maybe two cards back. Uh, this was actually a crack out from GMA. This is the star company. This is a Nolan Ryan and I think this was a promo card from their set. Um, a promotional card it's not the set set card or a team so they had team sets or just uh, player sets uh, for baseball and um, no I don't think they had team sets for uh, baseball players only basketball anyways this is a pro it was a promo card GMA actually graded this card before cracked it out Wanted it in the new slab, and they say they're not grading these cards no more, I guess. Oh, well. It's the, it happened before. I sent um, some celebrity cards. They used to grade, and they stopped grading them. You know, uh, PSA has done that. H SGC has done that. They, they, You know, the cards you used to send them, they go, like, hey, we don't grade these no more. So it happens. Just hopefully they didn't charge me. Because if they put it on their website, hey, we don't grade these cards no more, I would have never sent it. 2003 SPX Kobe Bryant. Another legend. Uh, Gem at 10. Boy, that had some It's a good looking card. Okay, Kobe Bryant rookie card. Uh, 1996 uh, Skybox Premier Kobe Bryant. I bought this off of eBay. I, I'm happy I got the nine. Believe it or not, I opened dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of these packs and never once pulled it. I pulled every other card. I had like five of this, ten of this, 
15 of this, but I never got this. Bought several boxes, and I had the worst luck. I never, ever got the base Kobe Bryant rookie card. I think I got a few of their insert cards through the years, but uh, never the base. So I finally just bought one online and graded it. Um, Kobe Bryant rookie card in a mint nine. I don't know what the heck happened here. It's a kick-ass looking card. I, I mean, look at that. It's a... Uh, wait, that doesn't show up. Got a little uh, thing that showed up on my phone saying uh, a little notification. Hopefully the notification didn't show up on my video here. 2020 Don Ross... Uh, Jimmy Butler this is the hollow green laser these uh, laser cards look pretty wild but unfortunately it's an 8.5 I didn't see that coming this turned out to be better than I thought I thought this was going to be a 9 but I got gem in Pulsar Prism Luka Donka 2020 Donruss Optic Awesome. All right, I got 20. Okay. I got a 2019 Prism of LeBron James. Oop, let me put that further back. LeBron James is an NBA, NBA finalist. It's a parallel green Prism in a 10. It's gem at 10. LeBron rookie. It's out of a, a set. Oh, it's not his rookie. It's 2004. Rookie's 2003. Uh, 2004 Upper Deck Revivals. Yeah, the Revivals were the second year. LeBron. Him and Kamalo. Kamalo. I'm not even going to try to say his name right now. It's too early in the morning. We're in this set. It's a box set. LeBron card, gem at 10. That's the back. All right. Another. Uh, wow. I've done pretty good in the Cobes. Uh, 2013 Pinnacle Kobe Bryant card, and it's gem at 10. I don't think I've gotten this many gem mints out of a Kobe Bryant in any of my orders in the past. Uh, 2005 Topped Finest Kobe Bryant card number 33 in a mint 9. Wow. It's the best I've ever done on Kobe Bryant cards. Oh, 1989 uh, Collegiate Collection North Carolina uh, Coca Cola uh, Michael Jordan. And this is which card? 65. There's several in this set. Gem at 10 of Michael Jordan. Early uh, LeBron James, a 2007 Upper Deck First Edition. Insert behind the glass, LeBron James. Gem at 10. Banchero rookie card, uh, 2020 Chronicles draft picks. One of the, he's like, he's just amazing for Orlando Magic. They got to get some uh, more guards, better guards to help them out. They've done a bad job getting guards. All their point guards are really backup guards they keep getting. Or they're injury prone. Anyway, mint nine. Uh, 2017 Guyanus insert all clear for takeoff. Gem at 10. Uh, 1993 finest Shaquille O'Neal. Well, they got Atlantics on there. 
they put something else on the card. I, I guess I gotta send this back. So nine three is a second year. Uh, I believe this is a second year Shaq card. Mint nine on the finest. Another crossover. Um, once again, that was either a PSA or not PSA. It was a um, professional grading service. Uh, PGS, or when they crossed it over to IGS, they changed the name later on. Um, anyways, this is a crack out from them. And I got a Gem Mint 10 for the 2001 Flair Authentics Michael Jordan Gem Mint. So this is another cr crossover from Mint Grading. Uh, Crack, cracked it out in 96, Collector's Choice, one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. This is Hardaway, and that's Michael Jordan. Real cool card. Gem at 10. Um, 1957, Whit uh, Whitley Lockman and uh, EXNM. So, excellent to near mint six on the 57 card. <sighs> yeah, off center, top to bottom. 2021 Magic Civil Rave Prism 8.5. All right, 1964 Joe Torrey. Back in his playing days, an excellent plus a uh, five point five on the Hall of Famer. All right, nineteen ninety two, Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, so that finest was his second year. Um, Shaquille O'Neal rookie card, gem at ten on the hoops. Nine on the nineteen eighty nine tops trade Nolan Ryan. Mint nine. Another mint nope, that's a uh near mint mint eight. Uh, what year is that? Nineteen ninety five collector's choice. This is uh the players club, which is a parallel on the Jordan. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal, uh, 1992, uh, Hoops rookie card, mint nine on this one. So I have a jam mint and a mint nine. Ah, oh, this is not good. 2005 Kobe Bryant base card in 8.5. So there were some, they found some issues on that card. Uh, 1997 Collector's Choice. Collector's Choice is uh, basically upper deck. Uh, Michael Jordan in a near mint mint eight. This was a crossover. Uh, I can't remember. It was a dead grader that died off real quick. And this, this is just authenticated uh, Barry Bonds card. And it's a rookie card. I got to find out why this got authenticated. Uh, 1990 leave Nolan Ryan in 8.5. All right, this is a good crossover. And I, that this one was one of those grades. It's kind of iffy. I think that was gem grading. Uh, cracked it out. Send it to GMA. Uh, 1987 Barry Bonds rookie card in a 10. All right. All right, last box. And uh, if you've watched this whole video, I appreciate it so far. That's real cool that you watched the whole thing so far. Because this has been a long video. All right, another authentic. Uh, Herb Score, 1957. Have to find out why this guy authenticated. Gem at 10. Uh, 2008 uh, Leafs, Rookie and Stars, Tom Brady. 
Gem at 10 on the Tom Brady. Gem at 10 on the 2018 Donruss Barry Sanders. Gem at 10 on the 2015 Penny Contenders Tom Brady. Gem at 10 on the 2020 Donruss Optic Patrick Mahomes. Gem at 10 on the 2021 Prism uh, Matthew Stafford Fireworks Insert. Gem at 10 on the 2020 Panini Containers Patrick Mahomes. MVP contenders and it's a parallel. It's emerald. Crossover from the old slab to the new slab. 2020 mosaic. Uh, Michael Pittman rookie card. Uh, mosaic gem at 10. So cross back over to a 10. That's great. Uh, 2023 mosaic. Joe Burrows elevated mosaic and it's a silver prism. Gem at 10. Gem at 10 on the 23 Mosaic. Uh, Josh Allen, National Pride. And it is a, I believe, a silver prism on that one, too. I have to get that changed. I labeled it slightly wrong. Uh, 2000. 18 Panini Contenders, Season Tickets, Tom Brady, uh, Gem at 10. So I think I got two of those Gem at 10. Then a uh, short printed uh, parallel 2018 insert of Puckett and, uh, and Tom Brady. Uh, this is the, a short printed to 499. This is the 100th. Card of 499 gold illusions gem at 10. Twenty twenty three mosaic Derek Henry and they say mosaic prism uh, silver prism basically what they sh should be saying. Uh, twenty twenty one Tom Brady base card gem at 10. Uh, Mint 9 on the 2021 Panini uh, Contenders Draft Picks. Christian McAfee. This is Game Ticket and it's in a purple parallel. Uh, disappointed grade on this one. 2021 Score. Derek Han Henry. This is Collegiate Champions. Insert. 8.5. This is a 2021 Prism Justin Hubert fireworks insert, gem at 10. And another fireworks 2021 Prism of insert, and this time it's Patrick Mahomes, gem at 10. Another Patrick Mahomes 2020 mosaic, uh, will to win. Insert, gem at 10. Another uh, short print gold parallel of 499. This is uh, card 321 of the that short print. And it's a 2018 Illusions, Puck and Br Tom Brady, gem at 10. Bo Jackson rookie card. This is the 1988. Raiders team leaders showing Bo Jackson running in an eight. This is a 2007 Sage Hint, Marshall Lynch, Marshawn Lynch, Playmakers insert rookie card in a mint nine. Another early uh, Walter Payton card, 1987 Bears team leaders. With Walter Payton running, 
Uh, this is a Met 9 on the 87 uh, Peyton. Uh, 2021 Prism base card, Joe Montana. Jam Met 10. Getting to the bottom of the last couple cards in the order. Uh, 1998 Upper Deck, Michael Jordan. Base card, Mint 9. All right, I think I see what's wrong. I think there is some surface coloring issues up here, maybe some staining. So near Mint 7 on the 1991 uh, Team USA Michael Jordan card. Or discoloration might be the best way to put it. 1989 Hoops, Steve Kerr rookie card in a Mint 9. Last card in the order is a 2008 SP Authentic LeBron James in a Gem at 10. And I think this might be a parallel. I think it was supposed to be a different color and this is red, but I could be wrong. So anyways, these cards will be uh, posted this week on, um, on um, my uh, eBay website at hingems.fl. Some of the cards that I had some errors and some questions I had some questions on, I'm going to hold back till I get the answers, and then I'll put them online once I have it for I could document what, what the issues were on the website. So hingems.fl on eBay. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it, and take care. Bye.